Welcome to Silver Flyer and the Quick Bullion Review. This is the PAMP 100 ounce triple nine fine silver bar that I've just received and added to my stack. Here's the packaging it comes in, sealed on the back and inside of plastic with the assay certificate on the front. So we'll get into the packaging here. The uh, packaging is in plastic and I'm not sure if it's sealed or not, but we're gonna find out together. Okay. So there's secondary plastic on it and it's just taped shut here. I think it's basically to keep it out of the air. And we'll get this bar out for you. There you go. Really nice looking bar. Looks like poured silver with the stamped uh, characters on the front. So the bar comes with its own assay certificate with the serial number placed on the front, the certificate number and the purity. And it has also the QR code. You can go to their website and uh, find out more about this particular bar. The bar is a really nice finish on the front, very uh, reflective and you can see the pore lines in here. Now these pore lines happen, as far as I know, when the pouring process is coming near the end and the silver on the top layer is starting to cool a little bit, the uh, molten or liquid silver starts to slow down and as the hotter uh, silver pours in behind it, it pushes up these little ridges making these pore lines here. And that's how you can tell that it's been originally poured and then it would have had the characters and the logo stamped or pressed into the front of the bar. So what I'm holding on to here is 100 troy ounces, three nines fine silver. This is 6.85 pounds or 3.1 kilograms. And you can tell that it's been poured not only because of the pour lines is the also the edging is rounded and not machined. You can definitely see there's no machine marks on it there. Comparing it to another poured bar, this is the Canadian Mint. A more recent bar poured and very definite pour lines and the same rounded edging with no machine marks. There's a earlier, about 2015 Canadian Mint also with the earlier stamping on it. And it must have been very hot as it has no pour lines on it, but it does have the rounded edges you'd have without the machining. This last one here is the Engelhart. Now, although it does has to have toning, it was an older bar when I picked it up, but you can see it's definitely machined. Very, very exact edges, very precise corners, and they're all symmetrically identical. So this is definitely machine made bar. That would be the difference there. This bar is part of their newer series of bullion bars which come in both kilo and 100 ounce. I picked it up for 80 cents over spot. So $17.10 is what I paid in total for it. I'm pretty happy with it as a bullion bar. Buying larger silver bars is not for every stacker, but there are a lot of advantages on the purchase end and some on the selling end to having these types of bars. If you're interested in adding these bars to your stack, I suggest you hit subscribe and join me for upcoming videos on the strategies of buying selling and owning these bars. And for the rest of you, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.